Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and share my videos. I have all kinds of cool topics. I like to focus mainly on a mind, body, and soul program in order to conquer addiction, to get over PTSD, and be able to function, to be able to get rid of those anxiety attacks, to become stronger physically and mentally in order to move forward in your life in a, a positive way. I like to promote what I call a warriorship program, to be a spiritual warrior, to be able to be strong. Let's t talk today about the lonely road. Sages and prophets, Buddhas and teachers and mentors have been talking about for a thousand years or more, thousands of years, how the path of enlightenment is a lonely one. And I don't mean lonely in the sense that you have no friends or that you uh, are isolated. But you will find that the stronger you become mentally and physically, the harder it is to tolerate weakness. The stronger you become and the more of a warrior that you become to fight the battles that need to be fought, adding tools to your tool chest so when anything breaks, when anything happens, you're ready for it. A warrior's always ready. You'll find that the weak people that are just sitting by the side of the road get smaller and smaller. They become less and less interesting. You need them less, it becomes harder to relate to them. And that's really the main key. There's people out there, and you may have them in your life. I, I have had many of them in my life, and I still have a few. Who all, They just wish that I was the old me. They depressed me. They wish that I was the criminal. The one who lived a tortured life, who was always a step away from prison or suicide. They liked that person. That was the cool sky. They wished that that sky would return. He never will. That sky's dead. I killed him. I'm no longer a victim of my environment. I've created myself as I've gotten older into the person that I want to be through daily discipline in a mind, body, and soul program. People like the victim. Other victims, other weaklings, they like weaklings. They surround themselves with weakness in order to make themselves feel comforting. It's like a blanket. You can all sit around and wallow in shit like a bunch of pigs. And for you to get up and start walking the path as they're all sitting there on the side of the road complaining can be offensive to them. I've had a couple times in my life where I tried to do the right thing and become a better person. And because of my own inner weakness and really not putting in all the work that was necessary in order to become stronger, I, was easily, I easily slid back. And part of it was listening to my friends. I remember I was homeless and I was a criminal and not a very successful one. People get this idea that drug dealers and crooks and all kinds of people involved in that world are rolling around like these rappers in these videos, most of them were just idiot bums, and I was. But I went and got a job one day, because I felt like that was the right thing to do. People get jobs, right? That's a good step to make. I'm trying to get off the streets, go get a job. So I went and got a job at one of these little one hour photo mat place. They don't really have them much anymore because everybody's using digital cameras and they have their cell phones. But uh, we used to have to, you know, 35 millimeter film and you'd have to develop it somewhere and they had these little one hour photo booths everywhere. And I got a job in one. You sit in this little stupid booth. I did it for one day, came back to, I was still homeless and I was lucky enough to get a job. It's hard to get a job when you don't have an address to put on an application. But I got the job. And I did one day and it was a long shift sitting in that booth for eight hours, it was boring. My back hurt, and I went back to my homeless camp. I was living out of my van, but I hung out with a bunch of hippies. They were all about my age, and these were my friends. And they were like, Sky, where you been? And I told them I got a job at that photo place up there. You know, the one in that parking lot by the grocery store? Yeah, I got a job there. So 
that's my new thing. And they all looked at me like I was crazy, like I was stupid, and ridiculed me and made fun of me. And it didn't feel good. Now I could, I had a choice there that was a turning point. I could have just been like, you know what? Fuck all you guys. I'm doing the right thing. And I could have gone back the next day. I probably could have got myself off the streets with a job like that. <laughs> Instead I listened to them because I thought that these were my friends and I thought that their opinions mattered and I wanted their approval. I, 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 I didn't want to be lonely. I wanted buddies. So I quit the job, I never went back. I went one day, couldn't even do it. Couldn't do more than one day and quit. Went right back to being a bum. Right back to hustling in the street. Now I eventually got myself off the streets. I, I had to pull myself up and really force my way through that door. It's hard to get off the streets when you're homeless. And I was proud of myself for finally doing it, but I, I could have done it a lot earlier if I just wouldn't have listened to the losers and the weaklings around me. These weak motherfuckers that liked their weakness, that, that reveled in it, that rolled around in it like a pig in the mud. They wanted to stay weak. They're probably, shit, that was 30 years ago. They're probably still bums to this day if any of them are still alive. And here I have a house with a pool. I own my own business and I've owned many businesses. And I'm not bragging, I'm just saying that it's possible to become a better person, but you're going to have to leave that old life. You're going to have to get rid of the losers, these weaklings that are just sitting by the side of the road doing nothing in order to make way for your future. Not everybody has to be where you are on the path. And I can respect somebody who maybe they're just starting out. And I've been on this path for a while of trying to better myself, make myself stronger, you know, through my mind, body and soul program. But I know people that aren't necessarily where I'm at and I'm not saying I'm better than them because I don't compare myself to anybody. I just compare myself to who I was. But I can respect the fuck out of somebody who is trying, who has that desire, that fire in their belly where they're just like, I don't want to be this person anymore. I want to change who I am. I want to be stronger. I'm sick of being weak and I want to be stronger. That's what I told myself. I'm sick of being a weakling. God, if I could only be stronger, my life would be better. So I took steps towards it. If I see that in somebody, I can respect the shit out of that. But the people that just sit there on the side of that path, not even making the journey, not willing to even get up and take a step forward, they're just going to get smaller and smaller as you turn around to see them. They're going to start dropping off on the horizon and you won't even see them anymore. And you'll find that you may end up who knows, but you may end up just walking alone for a while. So the path to greatness is lonely. The path of the warrior is a path that you walk alone, but it's not a loneliness where you feel empty, where you have some deep desperation for approval, because that comes from within. I no longer seek validation from others because I realize that their validation won't fill me up. It comes from within. You have to love yourself in order to be loved. This is why I talk to people about stop chasing love. Stop chasing things in your life. Work on yourself. Be the best that you can be. You know, as they say, used to have the uh, be all you can be was the thing they used to say in the military. It's such a powerful statement because as you work on yourself and as you become stronger, as you become a person with, of character, other people of character start to recognize that and start to flock around you. You become more desirable to women if, if you're single. You become more desirable to employers if you're looking for a job uh, or, bet, or wanting to get a, a better job. This only happens through building the character within. The true warrior knows this. It's all about confidence, and you gain that confidence through building strength, mental strength, physical strength. It's all one. Daily discipline is what it's about. It's really hard for me to leave some of these people in the past. You know, through social media, 
people that you used to know will start weaseling their way back into your life, people that maybe you left behind, old dysfunctional girlfriends, people that you used to know, used to hang out with, old buddies. I've had all of them come back into my life in some way or another through social media, and it's been interesting to see where they're at and have a little reunion for a second, but I've quickly realized that many of them, they don't like the new me. And that's fine. Because I don't like the old them. And it took me a long time to realize that. I used to surround myself with idiots. Even though I felt like that I was trying to become better and I was trying to better myself. That this is just a personal journey. But I could still have all my old buddies. It gets really hard if those buddies are refusing to become better people if they're refusing to evolve as people, if they're refusing to become stronger, you can see their weaknesses for what they are and realize, wow, this person is not only dead weight, but they're asking me to carry them. And I, I, I'm not interested in carrying you. I'll walk beside you, but I'm not going to carry you. So if there's any message I can get through with this video, if anybody out there watches my videos, don't worry about walking this path alone. Don't worry if people start dropping off. That's supposed to happen. When the weak motherfuckers in your life start dropping off, you realize, instead of being remorseful about that, realize that this is a sign of you moving forward. If you feel lonely, combat that loneliness with your daily discipline. Combat that loneliness with positive affirmations. Fill your own cup until it overflows. What this world needs is people with good character. They don't need any more weaklings. This path to greatness doesn't need to be littered with people sitting on the sides of the roads going nowhere. So it's all just food for thought. And I just want people to have a little bit of comfort because it does get hard. When you feel alone, you feel like you're doing this and, you know, and, and people are leaving your life. The old people that you used to hang out with or used to know, that you, you used to think were your support system are now dropping off. You, you need them less. You, you, you start to see how flawed they really are. And it can feel lonely. I've been there. I'm going through this right now. But I tell myself, it's okay. This is all meant to be. I need to become stronger in order to be able to help others. Being in service to others is where it's at. That's how you get into heaven. That's how you find happiness. You don't search for happiness. Happiness is a byproduct of living a meaningful life. Seek meaning. Seek discipline. A true warrior lets people come and go, doesn't trip on anybody, sitting on the side of the road, just walks around them. So be strong, stay with it. It's mind, body, and soul every day, 365. We don't take any days off. If you're sore from working out, you take a day off from that. You still can work on your soul. You still can work on your mind. There's always something to do. Stay on top of your game. Stay strong. Thanks for watching.